Welcome back to part two of the 2017 Honda Civic brakes. We already got the back brakes done in the last episode. This one here, we're going to do the front. We're just going to finish up here and get everything for you covered. Back driver, back the screw out. Go ahead and take the twelve millimeter out. Both of these bolts, you can pretty much just spin them right out. And C clamp, C clamp over. It's going to get on top of the banjo bolt on the other side, or on top of the piston, whichever you're more comfortable with over the banjo bolt you're not doing too much pressure on it and just enough to create a gap in here for now that loosens up your caliper now, just so it doesn't fall put one of the bolts back in for the moment and you get a hook hang it up there Back out, Move the caliper off. Hook through. And you put the hook up over top of your spring up above, just so there's no pressure on your brake line. You've seen a couple I've heard where I've hung them, but usually that's caliper, it doesn't weigh that much. But just to play it safe. Get this pet trainer spread out. Right. Now, got these little metal clips in here. Just push the brake pads back out. They're not too bad. These are actually. <laughs> Not really in need of it, but he said that he's got a little pulsating, so that tells me his rotors are warped, the steering wheel shakes a little. So we're going to do pads and rotors. So like in part one, we did the back brakes first because they were most likely going to be the hardest. They needed the use of the scan tool. These right here, are just regular basic disc brake. No special bells and whistles. Even the rotor doesn't have to be fought with, so all nice and easy. 17 millimeter on the back side of the bracket. I'm gonna spin those bracket bolts out. Caliper off, pop the hardware out, careful you don't get caught on it, and clean those up a little bit in there, 
Add a little lube to those, clean those up. Dry your brush, clean up the hub. Spray it down with the brake cleaner, make sure you got all the debris off of it. Grab another can of brake cleaner. It's done, it's all done and dry. A little bit of fluid film on it. Just like you're doing a light coat of spray paint. Go over to rusted areas. Make your new rotor. Out of the bag. In this case we've got coat, you know, rotors that are coated with a machining oil. We need to get that machining oil off of them. Spray them down initially. Grab some clean paper towels. Fold it in quarters. Wet it down real good. Wipe your rotor down both sides. Note where your screw hole is. And then put the little screw back in. on it. Let's get this caliper bracket cleaned up. This one's pretty clean actually. Trying to rush because the battery on my camera is about to die. Nice and shiny. I'm gonna put some anti seize on these instead of using the silicone grease. Desperately trying for the Tin Man effect. Just the surfaces that the hardware comes in contact with. The whole purpose is to keep the rust from building up underneath the hardware. Squeezing the pads. Good idea to make sure that you get some of this on all the surfaces that you come in contact with with the file. That way there you don't get rust underneath the hardware. And then we can take your access off from the inside. And back away. Eaten in. Another clean paper towel. Just 
just because I don't feel like looking at all of that dust and fuzz anymore. Now I can go ahead and put the hardware in. The developer bracket. We've already sorted out which ones go on this. There was two sets. Make sure you wipe off what's going to be transferred over to the rotor. Everything's all the way down in. Bolt your caliper bracket back in place. Tighten those down. Brake pads in, squealer goes on the inboard, non squealer goes on the outboard. I'm going to go ahead and let's see, push this piston back in a bit. Grab an old brake pad, set it in there. C-clamp on it. And just push it back slowly. Watch your boot right in here. Make sure that you don't get any bubbles in it. It's all the way in and down. No pressure. C-clamp back off. Remove your hook. Now, before you put your brake pad down, you got these little metal springs. These right here. These push your brake pads back out, and they face towards the middle of the caliper. Find the little holes they go in. Get them in their holes, and that'll start putting the, wanting to push your brake pads out right away, so you're going to need to hold them from this point forward. Sit like that. Now you can bring your caliper down and over. Working over your caliper pins. It pulls back in in this case. I'm going to add a little bit more grease to these pins. Slide this one out a little bit. This just helps to keep moisture out. 
keeps everything in there nice and happy. Line up the top one. That bolt back in. Tighten both of those down. Those are 12 millimeter again. You don't need to really crank these wheel really, really, really tight. Done, put the wheel back on. That's brake job. Part two. Two front brakes, 2017 Honda Civic. If you guys found it helpful, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell. And yeah, no more excuses. Pick up those wrenches.